What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So several people have asked me about gaming on a projector. Well, today we're looking at the TH671ST, which is a gaming projector from BenQ, so stay tuned. So BenQ has been really busy lately releasing several projectors in the sub $800 price range. Well, this is the BenQ TH671ST, a short throw gaming projector with great brightness, low input lag, and a compact size that might be exactly what you're looking for in a gaming projector. Now unboxing this thing was a bit of a surprise. At nearly 11 and a half inches wide and just under six pounds, it's actually smaller and lighter than most home theater projectors, which is helpful if you wanna travel with it. The rounded shape gives it a nice look and the red accents are reminiscent of the BenQ HT2150ST, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So as far as ports go, you're gonna have two 3.5 millimeter stereo input and output jacks, two HDMI ports, one of which has MHL support, a USB type A power port, VGA input and output jacks, RS-232 control port, and a mini USB service port. And on top of it, you're gonna have your power menu buttons and LED indicators, and over the lens, you're gonna have a zoom dial and focus ring. So this is a full HD short throw DLP projector. Short throw meaning that it's capable of displaying a 100 inch screen from just five feet away. So this is perfect for gamers considering its portability and the fact that you can use it in a small room. And speaking of gamers, this projector has a really low input lag of less than 17 milliseconds and with 3000 lumens of brightness, you can easily use it in a bright room. It also has a five watt internal stereo speaker, BenQ's automatic brightness adjustment, 1.2X optical zoom lens and vertical key keystone adjustment. Okay, so how well does this thing perform? <laughs> well, I blew the dust off my Xbox One S to see how it does, and I have to say this projector does work really well for gaming. Not only did it look great projecting a 100 inch screen, but it handled my 135 inch screen really well. The colors are bright and vibrant, and the input lag is great for even the most sensitive of gamers. So I figured while I had this thing hooked up, I might as well go ahead and see how it performs as a home theater projector. Now I have to say, it's actually not bad. Now, it doesn't have the contrast or black levels of more expensive projectors, and it only covers 92% of the Rec. 709 color space, but its brightness is the key here. If you're putting this in a bright room, the 3000 lumens of brightness makes up for the 10,000 to one contrast ratio, especially considering how close it is to the screen. Now, BenQ does claim that this projector has an ultra quiet fan, but it's definitely not the quietest projector I've ever used. Considering it's a 3000 lumen projector, I didn't expect it to be super quiet, but at 33 decibels at its loudest, it's certainly audible if you're sitting right next to it. Now, luckily its internal five watt speaker does put out a surprising amount of sound that easily drowns out the fan noise. So it's not a big deal if you're gaming or watching a movie. Okay, so how does it compare to other short throw projectors? Well, let's start with the BenQ HT2150ST. So the 2150ST does cost about $150 more than the 671ST. However, the 2150 is superior in almost every way. It has better contrast and most importantly, a 6X RGB RGB color wheel, which gives it more accurate color and less rainbow effect. Now I will note that the 2150 is 2200 lumens instead of 3000 like the 671 ST. So the 671 will work better in a bright room. Okay, so how does it compare to the Optima GT 1080? So at the time of this video, both the TH671ST and the GT1080 are priced around $750. Now it should be noted that Optima rates their lumen output a bit differently than BenQ, and the result is that the Optima is not gonna be as bright as the BenQ depending on the content that's being displayed. Another thing to note is the Rec. 709 color coverage. So BenQ states that the TH671ST covers 92% of Rec. 709, while Optima doesn't actually state the GT1080's color accuracy. However, having on the Optima GT1080, I can tell you that although the colors might be accurate in reference mode, the colors are muted and lack vibrance. Now on the other hand, the Optima does have a better throw ratio, so it can easily display a 100 inch image from less than four feet away. So that's definitely something to consider if you're in a small room. But as far as overall image quality goes, I do have to say I prefer the TH671ST. So if you're looking for a nice and bright gaming projector that you can use to play games or a movie on a huge screen in a small room, I would definitely recommend this projector. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, as always, go ahead and mash that like button for me. Don't forget to leave your questions and comments in the comment section, I'll respond to your questions. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.